Hello YouTube. You can see my bag of trash in the kitchen over my shoulder and my notes by my chair and my too much headroom and sweaty forehead because I've been cleaning all day and I didn't put the details in here that are required intentionally beneath my usual level of expected effort. We live up to what we expect out of ourselves. Sometimes we can put too much pressure, but it can be just as bad to put too little. You should try to expect the best out of yourself. Giving the best effort that you can give. However that breaks down for you in all that you do, into your family, into your relationships, into your job, into your creativity, into your life, even those things that you don't want to deal with. You may not enjoy your particular job right now, rather than working just enough to get not get fired, you should have a good work ethic. If you work out and you don't really feel like it that day, get up and make yourself do it. And don't do it half, do it to the best you can pull off. Why should you do this? Not this, this, and my sweat. <laughs> because it should be a habit of yours to always put in 100% of what you can give into yourself, into your life, into your endeavors. We have two sides of us, good side, bad side, operating at all times, and whichever one grows is the one that we feed the most. You may have heard the, this story of the two wolves, a good wolf and a bad wolf. And if you feed the bad wolf, the one that only puts in half the effort, some of the effort or none of the effort when it doesn't feel like it or it doesn't want to do what it's being required to do, like their job, when it doesn't want to be bothered. This stuff, our own behavior, our actions have a feedback loop to our brain and it seeps into our character. And you will start to feel like somebody who is slothful, is weak, doesn't bother, is small, is less than, is weak. If you always try to put in 100% on any given day of whatever 100% on any given day is, it's not always going to be 100% of what you can do. Every day is different. But Try to put in 100% of what you can do because that will foster in you a gut reaction that that's just who you are and that's just what you do. And once that becomes just your go-to thing, you have hard work ethic. You do what you say you're going to do and you hold yourself to that. You have discipline. You, you live up to your promises. If you say you're going to do it, you follow through with it. Even if it fumbles a little bit because it wasn't a hundred percent day but you put in a hundred percent that you could that day you still follow through it will become just who you are and what you do and you will feel like a stronger more capable more competent warrior type of person you'll feel strong and more confident in your own life when that becomes your go-to level of expectation that you set for yourself that you put in 100% in all endeavors. Taking into account and recognizing that 100% changes on a day-to-day -day basis because of how you're physically able or what you have in your schedule. But whatever you endeavor to do, do it to the best of your abilities at that point or don't do it at all. Because otherwise you're being guided by, by your emotions or by circumstances rather than how you how and who you want to be 
and you will get more back for how much you put in. So if you put in 50, you're only going to get 50% back from your return from your life. You put in 100, you will get 100 back. So you'll get a better return in your life for the more effort you put into each endeavor. But the more of yourself that you put in, the more energy, time, effort, ethic <laughs> that you put in, it's going to make you feel better about yourself. And feeling better, stronger, solid, confident, competent, like a person who keeps their promises and can be relied upon, strong, capable, able, is going to improve your mood on a day-to-day -day basis. And it's going to improve your resilience to handle those things that you don't want to do, but you have to do. Pat yourself on the back for being the kind of person who always shows up and gives it their all. It's a good type of person to be. And it will fe feed the good wolf inside of you instead of the bad wolf. We live up to our own expectations. It'll make you better and better and feel better and better. So try not to show up half way in with half done effort and half bother or don't bother at all. It's better to say no and just not do that thing than to do it half-heartedly. Your life deserves 100%. And you deserve to feel that 100% return and return in self-esteem. Love you guys. Bye, YouTube. Headroom, too.